Recently, market research organization CounterPoint released a research report on Global Smartphone Application Processors AP. The report shows that in the third quarter of 2023, MediaTek became the biggest winner, becoming the world's no. One smartphone SoC with a market share of 33%. Qualcomm and Apple follow with market shares of 28% and 18% respectively. It is reported that this is the 13th consecutive quarter that MediaTek has occupied the top chip share in the smartphone market. I have to say that MediaTek's results are very impressive. You know, for a long time in the past, Qualcomm was the dominant player in the field of mobile phone chips, and MediaTek was once considered the originator of copycat chips. Now, MediaTek has firmly dominated the global smartphone chip market for 13 consecutive quarters. Took the top spot and surpassed Qualcomm in market share by 5 percentage points. It may seem that this 5 percentage points is not a lot, but when compared with other brands, this data is not small. After all, Samsung's chip market share is only 5%. So, how did MediaTek do it, and what did it rely on to defeat Qualcomm? In the coming time, can MediaTek continue to lead? Revealing the secret behind MediaTek's leadership, taking the lead in deploying 5G. MediaTek's achievements today are closely related to its research and development innovation on chips. Anyone who knows the industry knows that in the 3G and 4G network era, MediaTek chose the wrong direction and became the first choice for copycat phones. This also left everyone with the impression of copycat chips. Not only was it left far behind by its peers, he also put himself into a very passive situation. Therefore, in order to enter the 5G market first, MediaTek became one of the first chip manufacturers to participate in domestic 5G technology trials and tests. According to public information, MediaTek announced in 2017 that it would stop researching and developing 4G chips and transferred thousands of technical personnel to the 5G department to engage in the research and development of 5G chips. Facts have proved that MediaTek's strategy is correct. In November 2019, MediaTek released the first 5G chip Dimensity 1000 for the high-end market, benchmarking the Snapdragon 865 chip. At that time, the market did not pay enough attention to this chip, but it was this 5G chip that opened the door to MediaTek's counterattack. Since then, MediaTek has continued to increase technology research and development and investment in chips, making high performance, high energy efficiency and low power consumption the genetic advantages of Dimensity 5G chips and has gained wide recognition from the market and users. For example, the much-anticipated flagship chip MediaTek Dimensity 9000 series has been widely used in many high-end products and folding screen mobile phones of leading mobile phone brands and has gained a good reputation among users, becoming the king of performance, Tianji for small folding and other industry benchmark titles. It is precisely for this reason that Dimensity has gradually become one of the most popular 5G mobile chips in the mobile phone market, helping domestic mobile phone brands create a variety of 5G mobile phone hot products. For example, the Vivo X100 series, which was first launched with Dimensity 9300 chip not long ago, has achieved a brilliant record in the market. According to Wall Street Insights, within one month of the Vivo X100 series being sold on the market, the overall net inflow of users was as high as 69%. Among them, the net inflow of users of X100 Pro was as high as 74%, the inflow of Apple users increased by 57%, and the sales volume of X100 Pro increased by 4.5 times compared with the previous generation. To a certain extent, the hot sales of this machine also reflect the market's recognition of the Dimensity 9300 chip. It is reported that the Dimensity 9300 used in the Vivo X100 series is the first flagship chip with a full large-core CPU architecture in history with strong performance and AI capabilities. You know, the traditional architecture is generally composed of ultra-large core, large core, and small core. However, the Dimensity 9300 chip directly designs the flagship chip architecture with an ultra-large core plus large core solution. Benefiting from this architectural innovation, the Dimensity 9300's the peak performance of the CPU is improved by up to 40% compared with the previous generation and the power consumption is saved by up to 33%. Combined with the new architecture GPU and the 7th generation AI processor APU790, the Dimensity 9300's running scores ranked first in CPU multicore performance, GPU multicore performance, and AI performance in multiple tests. Currently, the strongest in 22 benchmark score exceeds 2.3 million, ranking first among contemporary flagship SOCs. 
Previously, a research report from Morgan Stanley stated that the performance of MediaTek Dimensity 9300 flagship chip has surpassed Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and Apple A17 Pro, making it the most powerful smartphone SoC on the market. Morgan Stanley analysts also praised the Dimensity 9300, saying it is the most powerful mobile phone processor in history and is expected to push MediaTek's market position to new highs. Qualcomm begins to expand downwards, can MediaTek continue to lead? Of course, the reason why MediaTek can achieve outstanding results has something to do with external reasons. For example, domestic mobile phone manufacturers are trying to get rid of their dependence on Qualcomm and have turned their attention to MediaTek. From the second half of 2020 to the present, the increasing number of domestic mid-to-high-end mobile phones equipped with MediaTek chips in the mobile phone market fully illustrates this point. For now, MediaTek's solid position in the mobile phone chip market seems unshakable, but it is not easy to completely secure this position. It should be pointed out that although MediaTek has achieved significant advantages in market share, there is still a certain gap with Qualcomm in terms of the richness of mobile phone models and the coverage of high-end flagship markets. There has always been a tacit understanding between Qualcomm and MediaTek, that is, Qualcomm focuses on the mid-to-high-end market and MediaTek focuses on the mid-to-low-end market. However, after losing to MediaTek in chip share for several consecutive years, Qualcomm is also very eager to regain its position as the world's mobile phone chip leader. Therefore, Qualcomm has begun to change its strategy this year, downward expansion. An obvious example is that after Qualcomm released the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 mobile platform, it launched the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 processor non-stop. Moreover, this processor also forms a mid-range product array with Snapdragon 7S and Snapdragon 7 Plus, forming a combination of medium cup, large cup and extra large cup. Some media said that this will be the key to Qualcomm's turnaround in 2024. In contrast, although MediaTek has achieved significant advantages in market share, its performance in the high-end flagship market is relatively weak. After all, MediaTek's product lines are mainly concentrated in the mid-to-low-end market. Although it has continued to make breakthroughs in the past two years, it has launched many excellent products such as Dimensity 9000 and Dimensity 8100 with both power consumption and performance. It is an excellent processor, but in terms of the current market, whether it is a mobile phone manufacturer or an ordinary user, Qualcomm's a Snapdragon processor is still the first choice for most brands and consumers. Of course, MediaTek also has its unique advantages. For example, the chip performance of MediaTek and Qualcomm is not much different, but MediaTek's product pricing strategy is relatively flexible, which also helps it gain an advantage in market competition. Therefore, it is estimated that it will be a challenge for both parties to say whether MediaTek can continue to lead in the future or whether Qualcomm can regain the world's first place again, but it is undeniable that the competition between MediaTek and Qualcomm will more and more intense. Therefore, in the coming time, who the market balance will favor may depend on whose product is more popular in the market. After all, consumers will vote with their feet whether the product is good or not. In short, there is no permanent overlord in the mobile phone chip market. The story between MediaTek and Qualcomm is still unfolding, but China will wait and see who will win in the end.